live somewhere that it snows. Dominic is making bacon again this evening. I've made him double check the ingredients 17 times because I find it really hard to keep track of all the ingredients. Ground pe black pepper, yes. Looks pretty clean already, but I'll give it a rinse off. Right? Some pigs are better for bacon and some are not. There's like bacon pigs and fat pigs, and we did not get either of those things. From, if I remember correctly, ours is like somewhere in the middle. Like not exceptionally good at either one. Oh, well, not bad at either one. So we'll just pop this up. I can just fold them into them and put them in there. That's what I did last time. Yeah. Sugar. That's probably the biggest ingredient, isn't it? Oh, these ones, black ones are the worst. Oh, yeah. They're terrible. Sugar. Is there a rock in it? No, it's just probably brown sugar. What are you doing, Martin? Stirring. Stirring. What are you stirring? Nothing. What are you going to be stirring soon? Um, that's bacon. What's this? But I'm also afraid not to use this. My bacon, so maybe we will do one on one. Yeah, as yeah. I was saying that, because you don't. So it might be neat to see. This has officially turned into an experiment because mm -hmm. he missed an ingredient. He missed the maple syrup. But Dominic does not generally enjoy maple bacon. I don't know if it's just that it's too sweet. And it's, Usually it's because it's too sweet. Yeah, yeah it's store-bought maple bacon. So we're going to have one without maple and one with maple. Dominic is folding the bellies in half because our bags are just too small that they can't fit in there. Don't be a job to close them as it is. Jenny's upstairs, but I'm sure she'll kill me if I start doing this without filming it, so... Uh, we got the ham here. It's a 14-pounder, I believe it was. And I'm going to be using a um, recipe from Meat Eater for a smoke and a ham, so... Uh, I'm just going to wash it off first, and by then hopefully Jenny's here to take over the camera work. We've got our ham hardware, home hamware bucket. That's not covered in ham. Right, the fear is that it's not going to be totally covered. You know, we're not too far off, so I don't think adding that much water will make a big difference, will it? Alright, we need to go on. Totally covered now. Alright, we've got a beautiful Sunday morning here. It's very nice out. And today is a smoke day, so I gotta try to get my smoker out there here now in a second. But first, let's go open up the chickies and get them some fresh water. Because their water is definitely frozen over. Oh, does it ever smell in there today, guys? And I don't mean bad, I mean it smells like a air freshener because she's dry now, everybody. I'm not hearing no complaints about a wet floor no more. Don't want to hear it. Because this is the driest floor, stratter the floors in the house. So I made a little uh, mountain of wood chips over there yesterday and the chickens have been spreading it out. Yeah, she's bone dry now. Nice and dry. No, nope, that wasn't anything guys, that was just wood chips. So, let's get them some water. So the temperature this morning is about minus eight or 10, I think. So the egg situation is, remember last week we were trying to clean up the eggs. They look nice and clean there now, which is great. And the Easter eggers all like it up here. Oh, someone took a number two up here. That's unfortunate. But the eggs overall look cleaner and, and they're getting bigger number too. So what is that, seven? For this hour today is pretty good. Hey, get out of there. 
Oh, that's the one that eats the plastic. Look at him. Oh, man. Yeah, get out of here. Oh, that jerk. Why do you gotta be like that? Guess I'll move these down to the floor. Oh man. Oh well, I better do something about that today too. But anyway, they're fine for now. Give them a scoop of food and we're gonna go smoking. Good morning. It has been five days. It, ideally it would be six days, but we have to work and today is Sunday. Um, so we're gonna smoke it up today or when I say we, I mean Dominic. I know. This doesn't add any value to my life. <laughs> I think we're definitely feeling the uh, the winter blues here. We're uh, we're getting to the end of January, and uh, you know we just got several months left of snow. We're sick of it. We don't want to do it anymore. Hardware. And hardware. Whoa. So the ham looks like soaking in juice for five days. Ham is in, and Dominic needs to prepare a glaze that we're gonna be putting over it. I think it's gonna be in there for two hours for now. It's gonna be in there for several, I think eight hours. And he's gonna be putting a glaze on it every couple of hours, so that's what he has to prepare now. And the bacon we're gonna do near the end because that does not take nearly as long. Dominic ran into the shed to get some meat hooks. I'm gonna pat the bacon dry, and then we're gonna hang it in the shed. The recipe says to refrigerate, but we have got a shed with meat hooks ready to hang meat, so we're going to use that instead. Bacon is going to rest here until we are ready to smoke it. How long will it be till you do the bacon? Uh, you smoke it? Yeah. Uh, probably this afternoon. Probably three or four hours. Three or four hours from now, so they're going to stay here. Um, we assume that uh, predators are not going to come out in the middle of the day and steal our bacon. It's fine. I'm not actually worried about that at all. Here's the ham. Here's the probe. I'm just going to pull it out for now and reinsert it because it doesn't seem to be reading correctly anyway. So I'm just going to uh, wipe some of this glaze on. And the recipe called for a tray underneath. So uh, we put the little water tray down there. It already smells pretty good. All right, that's the first glaze back in an hour. How long has it been in there now? Three hours. Three hours. Come on, are you? Yep. Warm me. Some people say to refrigerate it for a week before you eat it. Before you slice it. I just cut off a slice. I don't know if it's fully cooked, but uh, right there, it was pretty tasty. I liked it. Definitely not as salty as last time. It's got the regular amount of salt flavor that bacon normally have. Wrapping up the bacon. That's just not the hand. One more degree. Tires. Just get a nice crust on our last, with the last little plastic heat I get. Oh yeah? It is almost delicious. That smells really good too. Yep. Is that, we have to let that sit before we can touch it? No, you can carve it up right now either. What? 
Definitely tastes a lot different than any ham I've ever had before. Mm -hmm. So it's definitely got that familiar like salty ham flavor and texture. Like I really, I love ham. This one is way better than like one of the, like the Costco hams or something that you might buy at a store. I can tell that it has more of a smoky flavor. The glaze is really nice. It's not too salty though. Nope. And the texture is like perfect. Let's try the other side. I can see all the fat. As far as I know, the ham is, can be pretty different from side to side. That side is very, like it's not as salty, but it's really juicy. It's really moist. It's a super fatty piece. All right, so you're gonna put this in foil or you're gonna let it come to room temperature, put it in foil and then put it in the fridge. And then tomorrow, we'll well, put what it do you in want there. me to do with it? So we hot smoked it this time, that's one difference. So it's gonna be a little bit different, I guess. Uh, you still have to cook it, but at least it was mostly cooked. Last bacon video, we didn't show you any of this process and we also didn't talk to you and uh, some people didn't like that. <laughs> it was my dad. Now you have to wait till the timer's done, Jeannie. No. Yep, should've saved the brown sugar for oatmeal. Mm. Jeannie was right and I was wrong. Mm. Someone should make that a non-fungible token because it's gonna be a completely unique <laughs> <laughs> instance of that ever happening. How dare you. <laughs>